Welcome back to your basic bare bones survival guide to Ace Combat 7. I am your host, SX, but you can call me Six. Let's get into it. Mission 19, Lighthouse. This is possibly the most chaotic, all over the place mission. It took me three recording sessions and about four hours of gameplay to actually bring this video to you. I am sure this video took at least 10 years off my life. Once again, we have our basic F-16 with no parts upgrades. And once again, we're going to be using the four AAMs. Strider Squadron, sortie ASAP. For the first half of this mission, we have two goals. Reach 15,000 points, and don't die. You will secure air superiority. There are Russian aircraft in the coalition, so they have been ID'd as friendly via the data link. Just confirmed it. The Russian government aircraft, including drones, will show up as hostiles. You two aces, I'm thinking it's time to show us what you've got. We don't have two anymore. Our primary targets will be the SU-57s and the F-22s, both of which are worth a thousand points, and taking them out will make some of this a little bit easier. There are two types of enemies here, manned and unmanned. The unmanned are in a slave mode, if you will, and serving as wingmen to the mostly more advanced manned jets, like the 5th gen. The unmanned targets will have red lights in the cockpit and will usually be in formation behind the leader. They won't evade missiles as much once the leader is out. Or someone to guide us. 
Understood. Focus on the clone. Marines here to pick up. Missile. Missile. Box two. Box two. Once we have 15,000 points, I prefer to disengage, wait for the mission update. After all, this is a bare bones survival guide, not a top score guide. Missile launch from the arsenal bird. Shit, air burst tight. Helios arriving in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Helios arrived. I said we were going to take down the space elevator, but it's not like we can just go out there and chop it down. At the top of the windbreak, six location markers have been set in place. They monitor distortions in the space elevator. Those are the locations we need to target. If the sensors go bad, the elevator's observation system will think the elevator has fallen. Until its safety can be confirmed, all microwaves will be stopped. Oh, I get it. What a party. I was going to do it myself. <laughs> you dumbass. Helios launched from the arsenal bird. Five seconds. Attack failed! Cruise 
Cruise missiles did not reach their target. All right, here, do not go directly to the arsenal bird. Instead, we're going to keep our distance and wait for the story to play out. The key moment we are waiting for is the princess to smash light bulbs. We're listening for the sounds of glass shattering and for the music to make a more dramatic change. That was a pretty impressive firepower. I, for one, did not see that coming. The active protection system operated as expected. We should launch another saturation attack. Air power. You'll slow the arsenal bird. As a general rule, stay above the arsenal bird. The laser and the pulse cannons, they're just going to eat you alive. Watch it. Enemy has a lock on you. Missile. It's readying its APS. All aircraft, break off from the arsenal bird. That was close. Without the AWACS, I would have been a gunner. Cosette, that's not the control room. Go through the Once the shield the goes down. That is the checkpoint that you will respawn at, and you won't have to wait again. I already have 90% damage, and I will not survive my first attempt. I just have to keep going, and so do you. we go. Now, focus on the main and sub propellers. Order is not important. Try to keep moving. The drones are still going to be a nuisance.
guns can be, and in my opinion, are very helpful in this part of the mission. It's a big stationary target, and it doesn't move around a whole lot. Go, Trigger! Leave these chumps to us! Once you take out all the propellers, the mains will start up again. They do not need to be redestroyed. They're good. Just ignore them. Instead, we're going to wait on the story to give us the new targets, the docking modules. Yeah, but our guy's more than just an experienced pilot. 
For the hook, it's easiest to take a head-on shot, but watch out for the laser. And now for the APS, we're going to come up from behind and below. Still looking out for the lake. watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.
somehow managed to land. It's your turn now. The carrier ran aground, but that shouldn't be a problem for you. I'll guide you down. You're too fast. Lower your speed. Two miles to carrier. Bank left, trigger. One mile to carrier. Bank right. Raise your nose. Well, we're okay for the moment. Now the real challenge begins.